Good morning. I'm here to show you another video, and I hope you enjoy it. Uh, first of all, I always go to now with my verse of the Bible, and today I'm in Psalms, and uh, it starts with it is Psalms 34. Verse 1, I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul shall make her boast in the Lord, and the humble shall hear thereof and be glad. O oh, magnify the Lord with me, and let us exalt his name together. And then the other one is, the angel, uh, verse 7, the angel of the Lord encampeth around about them that fear him and delivers them. Isn't that a great promise that you have an angel watching over you? He camps around us. He's with us all the time. And all we do and say, isn't that wonderful? I think it is. And so, that's my verse for today, and uh, I want to paint something uh, more realistic today. I'm thinking maybe a waterfall, and I'm going to start with a blue. And you know, I'm going to try and see if I can fix it this way. And you can see it all. I want to be sure you can see it all. I'm going to start up here in, in the sky. Yeah, you can see that. I'm using a blue. I think it's cobalt. Yeah. I'm just going to kind of put some of this color on here. This is, by the way, um, 11 by 14 Fabiano paper and it works a little different than what I'm used to but I like it. Uh, I'm a watercolor at heart, you know that. Uh, this is darker. Up in here I'm going to have a, some green. Maybe I'll bring it down like that. And, uh, and over here too. And then I think I'll have some waterfalls come that way. You know, I'm going to use some blue in here to kind of darken this, see? And that, that will be trees eventually. And this is going to go down further. I think I'm going to take a small brush, which I don't usually do, and I'm going to dip it in here and uh, get some water on it and kind of draw where the waterfall is going to be. So I like this. Maybe it'll come from that down here like this. Maybe like this. So I know where I'm going. I don't usually do that, but Sometimes it's good to do that. And then I'm going to use some gold right in here. Um, this is a, a gold, almost a brown. That's a pretty color. I'm going to bring it over here. Put some of this up here. You know, I always like to keep my colors going. And then possibly I'll use a little purple way right up in here. It's, it really is a lilac, but it doesn't uh, look as lilac. It may be, I didn't change my brush, but the color's okay. 
bring some of this down in here just to wet the paper. And um, I think that I'll uh, use some uh, gold and burnt sienna right in here. Maybe for rocks. You know. Maybe a little bit up in here. Well, this is still wet. I'm going to use my palette and I and kind of go like this. And just kind of form a little bit of rock. And this is kind of drying pretty fast. But it will give a little texture. Maybe a little less dry. Now on these trees up here, I'm going to bring in some uh, dark color um, and kind of go down like this and so cross your like this. Throw some water on it. Just let it run down. I don't care, even in this. You can just play around, have fun. That's what I do. I don't worry about what's going to happen. But I'm going to send those trees. I'm going to make them a little more gold up in here. And right in here. some grass there. Down here you see, um, you can just use a dry brush, a wet brush. Sometimes I can't talk and paint at the same time. You try it sometime. You try making a video that way. There's that lilac. I like that. It's a pretty color. And I'm just putting it around in different places. And when it mixes with, with brown, it makes a different color all together. See? It's so blue. Put a little bit in here. You gotta have something to put the white on. I have this, it's called Hydra Bee Proof um, Watercolor. And it, um, it's Dr. Phil Martins comes in like this. And one thing I found out, you've got to have the lid on really tight or it dries all out. I've had so many of them dry out on me and that makes me unhappy. So I try to be very careful. You know, tighten up. And this is really wonderful st stuff, and it's still watercolor, but you see, you can just cover, it covers things. I wanted that white on there before it got, before that got dry. And you're using this kind of a stroke because um, you want to put your white on it. I put quite a bit of water in that. I want it to run down. It's got to run down like this. You know, like water does. And if I put some blue up in there, I open it here. darker colors down here. It's really a blue. But then I'll use white right in here. Put 
and this little thing here. I haven't finished those trees, but I may do something different with them. I might uh, tap them with water. See what happens. Yeah, when you're painting, you want to try stuff. Now, I had a lot of blue on that, and my brother started to make a video, you know, especially at my age, and, you know, I guess I told you yesterday, I was 98, but I'm not 98 till April, and I'm painting, I'm painting yet, nothing's going to stop me. Until I stop breathing, and then I'll be better off because I'll be in a beautiful place. You know, there's a mansion up there waiting for me. And I think that God is going <clears> to <throat> make a mansion with all the studio in it and so I can just paint the universe. Would that be something? to paint the universe. All the stars and all the sky, all, all the things that are in heaven that we don't even know about. The Bible says he's got things prepared for us that we can't even see it or hear it or understand it because it's so great. I'm putting some more white on this. You know, it's not going to be a detailed. Not going to be detailed. Now, when the water's this way. Hey, I put a little bit of white up in here. Carry it around. Be a little bit better. See, you just kind of work at it until you. Get it the way you want it. I have trouble with this right arm after painting 70 years. Because <laughs> your right arm would do that too. Right in the muscle. Making these trees. Everyone come down. See, it makes more variety of color by light and dark. And I'm going to put some of that dark down in here. Maybe some feeling of rocks coming out here like this. And maybe some over here. Just a little white. This is a little white on this. Right in here. Let it kind of run down like this. Maybe over here. You know, it's about as good as it's going to get unless I work on it by myself. Here's some more of that gold. I like that gold. Maybe there's a... So, that's it. This is about it. Because you can work on this forever. But I didn't want this be too long a video or you can get bored with it and um, I think it's about well actually it needs one more thing and um, I gotta have a nice clean brush to put this white on real thick I'm putting it on real thick and I'm gonna turn it right here Where? 
if you look right in the sky up there. You know, sometimes you can overwork stuff. And I'm going to just let that go. You just be patient. There. See it? I go too fast. You really can't see it. I have to do all this myself, you know. No one helps me. Thank you again.